Hey, welcome back to another Sergeant Locksmith training video. In this video, Sergeant Locksmith will give you some advice to help you out whether you're new to the locksmith industry or wanting to learn. Now, without further ado, here's Sergeant Locksmith. Hey, it's Arnold Locksmith. Okay. So, I had a conversation with a gentleman, younger locksmith, and he was asking about the Marshall keys and the pick keys, whatever you want to call me, go... His question was, should I go and order a set? And I told him, don't order a set. You can make your own. And with time, you're going to know what works. I use them occasionally, but it's just another tool to the arsenal. But I'm actually going to show you how to make them. We're going to do your most common ones. We're going to just do the Ford. We'll do the GM 10 cut, the Ford 8 cut, and the Chrysler 8 cut. And I'm going to show you how you can do it on the X-Horse Dolphin. So we've got the app open up. Go to your vehicle database. We want to go to Ford since it's the first one we're doing. Got it open. All keys. Scroll down to H75. Now that we got it there, it'll tell us to put the key in to align its number four. One, two, three, four. Put your key in. And once you get it in, tighten it up. Go ahead and snug it up here. All right, we've got that part done. Now here comes a little trick. Now when you're right here, you can notice we're on number one. We're gonna do this as five, 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 five. Now second to last is gonna be five, then one. There's your picture. We're gonna cut, tell it to cut the key now. So we hit continue. Now pay attention to the key. If you're controlling it by your key tool max, oops, sorry, or by your phone, make sure you've got it in your hand. Because here's the reason why. Now it's doing its second pass. Now when it goes around, now hit cancel. We've got that side cut to the 5-1. The other side we have to cut differently. So go ahead and pull your key out now. This is doing it on this machine. I prefer to use a 1200 machine to make these because this is just smooth. I like to have the ridges on there, but all you're actually mimicking is a half diamond. So go ahead and take your key, flip it over, install it to number four. Once you get there, clamp it in. Well, I don't see my brush, so we'll go without it. Now you notice on here we're at one, so we want to go five, 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 five. The second to last is going to be a one, and the last is going to be five. Now we're going to tell it to cut the key, continue. Now you'll want to use your 1.5 cutter on this. Now hit cancel. You've got your other side cut now. This is what you want it to look like. Because all this is is a little rake if you made. All right, we're going to take a quick pause and I'll turn around. The next one I'll actually show you is how to do the GM 10 cut.
All right, so we've got the B102 and the B106. We're going to be making the old Marshall key to these pick keys. You seen the H758 cut. Now, there's going to be so many ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one way. I'm actually going to make one of these and then take the other one and do put on a duplicator. No need to do the process on both. So I'm going to set that to the side. We're going to go ahead and do the 102. We'll insert the 102 in here. Remember your 102 is going to be your GM 39. So with that, and this process works on so many of them. If you want to make your own for other ones, ignitions, go for it by all means. This one here, it's, oh, howdy. Nice way to say it is, don't spend your money if you don't have to. All right, so we got that there. Go vehicle database. Go ahead and go in the Chevrolet. Now, the only thing I don't like is when you go in here to all vehicles, we lost our GM39. So, no worries. Just scroll down here to the old Silverado. Go all key blanks. GM39. We got our 1.5. Got it set at 4. Now, this one here, we're going to do it at... 4, 1, so 1 is going to be the last one, so we'll go 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 1. Hit start, cut, and key. <clears throat> yep. Like I said, make sure you get your finger on that button. Hit cancel. We're on the other side. So we'll go ahead and loosen it up. I know I should be using the brush. I have to figure out what happened to the one that was hanging on the wall in here. No one made, probably took it out to the vans. All right, so we've cut the one side. We're gonna flip it over, put it in. Tighten up the clamp. Okay, this one needs to end in a four, so it needs to be 14. So we'll go four, 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 one, four. Start cutting key. Okay, now it says clamp air. Now, don't wig out, don't flip out. This is how you can save some of your old keys. And honestly, if you've got cut keys that are miscuts and you've already stripped the transponder out of them and whatnot, you can make your own rate keys. And I'm gonna show you how to do it with this little trick. Okay, let's open up the clamp. Loosen it up. My biggest friend here, an old windshield wiper blade. That stainless steel piece of metal that comes out of them. I make tension tools out of these all the time. But I also keep a couple in the van just for certain little occasions like this. So what I'm doing is I'm loosening it up here. All right. You want to get it loose so you can get this to slide under. Try and make sure you can see this all in here because we're going to trick the circuitry on here so 
with that we slide it in tighten the clamp up now what we're doing is we're looking right here because we're going to make it think that it is that side of that key tighten the clamp tighten the set screw So if you ever got to do a goofy cut on a key, this is one way you can save yourself some keys. All right, we're good there. So let's hit OK. We still got our one four. So tell it to cut the key. Now just put your finger right here just to hold it. That way when it goes to do that side, it doesn't move. And right here, it's saying 1.5 cutter. So we just tricked it. It thinks it's a full key. All right, we're done. All right, there you go. See how easy that was? There's engineers turn around and design this, and some simpleton like us is going to figure out how to go over it. Hey, I'm not going to show you how to make the one o, the B106. Just take this key here. Take your 106. Do your tip. Tip. And cut it and duplicate it. Why waste time on here? Why do it on this way? But, alright. I'm going to go uh, have an adult beverage. And I'm going to come back and actually have the Y157. I'll show you the, that one. And we'll be done with today's lesson on making your own tools. All right, hey, here we go. It's Y157, also going to be known as your CY24 8 cut. Okay, with this one here, we just got done with the Chevrolet's, so we'll go ahead and back out of it. And you can turn around and go Dodge, all keys, go to your CY24. And this one here, we're going to be doing the same like on the General Motors. The last one's going to be a 1, and everything else is going to be a 4. So we'll go 4, 4, 4, 4, 1. Key is in. Snug it up. Tighten it. Snug that in. Cut key. Continue. Hit cancel. It's popped over to the other side. Flip the key over. Put it in. Give it a little snug. Okay, so the last one was a 4-1. This one needs to be a 1-4. So we'll go 4-4-4-4-4-4-1. Four, 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 
four. Got key. And if I remember correctly, we shouldn't have to use a wiper blade. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and cheat the machine again. So loosen your set screw up. See if this bad boy will slide in. It does. There we go. All right, that's in there now. Let's try this again. See, there you go. Your old windshield wiper blade coming into play again. You can make a tool with it and you can use it to cheat your little key machine. All right, we're over. Hit cancel. We're done. Hey, thanks again for staying this long. If you did, and you will notice at the end of this, I will actually have the breakdowns on the cuts for you if you would go and check out some of our other playlists on here give us a thumbs up and if you made it this far honestly i want to tell you thank you again but the sergeant locksmith saying let's be safe out there disclaimer this video is for educational and informational purposes not for illegal use or activities